Hey guys, this is Jamrin Gaiso Tutorial 66. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss about editor sliders as well as switch that has been introduced in Jamrin Forms 3.1 and above. So let's start our tutorial. This is my brand new Jamrin Forms .NET standard project. Inside our app.jaml, here I have set main page as my starting page. Now let's open our emulator. Now here we can see that editors that has been introduced in Jamrin Forms 3.1. It is a auto resizer editor. That means we can type anything as you like. I will type any random names. Then text inside the container will be auto resized. That's all for this editor. Now let us remove all our text inside the editor. Now next feature that has been introduced in Xamarin Forms 3.1 is switch color. You can see over here whether it is toggled or not then our switch color is going to be changed along with that slider color so now let us discuss about switch color I'll stop my debugging session then this is my stack layout where I am first of all introducing one level inside the stack layout you can see over here I just need to change that level color let us change that level text color as black then it should be visible okay we got our first level text and then another level text color as black so that our content is visible now I request you to play with those values now let us change that text color as black then let us change that label text color also to black and then we are going to add a box view giving background color as black and this is my switch on color property that I have changed it to blue now for those slider I have given icon inside my drawable folder for both android as well as ios you can get this icon from android or city studio and then use it inside your project now let us go to source folder here I can open with paint and then see the size of the slider image you can maintain same image size and then use it for sliders for changing different colors that's all now I'll be using minimum track color as well as maximum track color here let's change it to blue okay and then for maximum track color let us change it to hello here I place margin as 0 comma 10 as it's going to have 10 pixel distance from top as well as bottom within the given stack layout that's all now let's start our project whether it gives us a successful output or not now let's wait for some time our project is ready Okay, we got our expected output. Slider as well as switch color are changed. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching. Keep in touch for next tutorials.